I was recently in uh, downtown Los Angeles, brag much. <laughs> I was having dinner with two friends, and afterwards we were outside the restaurant saying goodbye to one another, and a homeless man approached us, and here was this dude's opening salvo. He goes, excuse me, can either of you spare two or three million dollars? <laughs> we're like, all right, this dude's a rascal. What else you got, new friend? And he goes, okay. If I can tell you where all three of you got your shoes, you each have to give me a dollar. I was like, what? Yeah, okay, you're on. We live in different states. There's no way you know where we all got our shoes. Go for it. And he goes, you got them on your feet. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> like a homeless Rumpelstiltskin, he just outriddled us. He outriddled us right to our faces. You got them on your feet. doodle doo doo <sighs> then I was like, no, uh-uh, I do not accept grammatically incorrect riddles. Not here, not today. If you had said I could tell you where all three of you got your shoes from, or where all three of you have your shoes on, I would have known how to answer your query. You said where all three of you got your shoes, that's grammatically incorrect, and thus you do not get a dollar out of any of us. And then he just sneezed blood all over the sidewalk. <laughs> Uh, we just gave him all the cash we had. We're like, I'm so, I'm so sorry about society. Oh my God. Too early in the day for this. My wife and I have three dogs. Ugh. It's too many dogs. It's not my fault. I was a single guy. I had one dog. That's perfectly normal. She was a single woman. She had two dogs, little guys. Totally normal. We got married, we united the clans, and now we have three dogs. And that's not normal. That's too many dogs. What are we supposed to do? Put them all in a room and be like, we'll be back in an hour and there better only be two. Like, no, we're not monsters. So we kept all three dogs and now life is a nightmare. The other day, we're out there walking our three dogs and Sammy, the American Eskimo, was lagging behind. I don't know if you guys know American Eskimos. In old circus photos, they're the ones like bouncing on balls. They're a desperate, pathetic, needy little breed. <laughs> and Sammy's no different. So we look back to see what the holdup is. Sammy's writhing around on his back, all four legs in the air, total canine ecstasy. Some of you chuckle at the description. Any dog owner in the room knows exactly what's going on in that situation. Sammy had located a stink, and he's trying to soak up as much of that stink as possible to take with him for further usage down the road. <laughs> we studied the scene further. In horrific real time, we realized that Sammy was rolling around in a massive pile of feces. The pile extended to a nearby garage wall and then up the wall to what was unmistakably human ass height. A homeless person had defecated in this alley and now our pristine white dog was rolling around in it, of it, about it. So very carefully, so as not to touch anything, I leaned down and I unclicked his leash. And now we have two dogs. 